Looking to move? I just like to look. Here's one. Where was it? Here. Two million. Let's not waste time or take this slow. We've got miles behind us with miles to go. So let's just break this down to the simplest truth. Hey everybody, welcome to Zephyr Travels. I'm Randy. And this is Zephyr. And in this video, we're going to take you to Watkins Glen, New York. Watkins Glen is located on Seneca Lake. It's in the Finger Lakes region of New York State. And it's a nice little town that Diane and I like to go to every year and just walk around the downtown. It's one of those little compact downtowns that's very enjoyable. And we're going to show you what we like about this town in this video. So come on along with us. Oh, look at the vehicles for Ben and Jerry's. Mm -hmm. What's the blue ribbons for? Oh. Ovarian cancer. Mm. Here. September 2024 is Ovarian Cancer Month. Watkins Land turned the town teal as a national campaign to promote awareness of ovarian cancer. Its subtle symptoms are risk and risk factors. Well, there you go. Yeah. Wags to Riches, Humane Society. Pets are welcome. Olive oil. Yeah. Probably a little pricey. Well, it would be place you go for maybe a special occasion or something. Yeah, because it has steaks, ribs, yeah. seafood. And the view of the lake. Yeah, live music. Lakeside dining. Your fortune is mine for the telling and yours for the hearing. Come let Zoltar tell you more. What movie did we watch? Big. Yeah. Zoltar. So here's where you can get a lake cruise. Unfortunately, they're not here today, or right now, they're probably out cruising the lake. But Watkins Glen Marina. It's a bit breezy. It is. The wind's coming right down the lake. Yeah. Need a sailboat. You'd go one way fast. Yes. Well, we had our sailboat. My dad and I sailed down here one time from the campground. It from took us forever to get back. Yeah, from Samson? Yeah. A lot of interesting old buildings here with a little bit of history. If you're coming to Watkins Glen and you're looking for a place to stay, the Harbor Inn Hotel is fairly new here. Well, fairly new. It's probably 10 years old or so. But, yeah. But it's been, it's a newer place to stay and it seems like it could be a nice place. It's got great water views of the marina. Watkins Glen, Lion and Spirits. Oh, look at this 
one. Yeah. Oh, great. Great. The water. Here's the House of Hong, Chinese food. We've eaten here a number of times. It's pretty good. Used to be just a takeout place. And yeah. Expanded. Theater. Live, love, rescue. Mm -hmm. The dog and it's, yeah, okay. Here, look, another uh, one of those other people's junk stores. Yeah. This is Gerlindo's uh, Italian restaurant, one of the places that we... Or what? Gerlindo's. Oh, yeah. It's one of the places we like to eat at yeah. when we're walking Swan. Really good Italian food, not too expensive. We stepped into Gerlindo's, one of our favorite restaurants. Here's my salad. It has olives in it, which uh, Diane promised me she'll help me with. <laughs> How can you not like olives? They don't really taste like that. I don't know. Just, just the look of them? Just because, I guess. How's that wrap? Multiple. <laughs> There's my ZDs, fake ZDs and meatballs. Looks pretty good. And there's Diane's wrap and fries. Looks good, dear. No trip to Watkins Glen, we would be complete without a stop here at the State Park. Watkins Glen State Park is well noted for having one of the most scenic hiking trails. It takes you up along the gorge and there's multiple waterfalls. There's a lot of stairs and such to walk, but it's very, very scenic and very worthwhile to uh, partake in. And it's something that we've done a few times and would always look forward to. If we're in the area for any length of time, we do want to try to check out the uh, gorge trail. Now, that being said, it is very, very popular and you're gonna find crowds here sometimes. There is plenty of parking around the area. There's parking across the street, there's parking here, there's parking the other side of the river. So there's plenty of parking. I don't know about for RV, it might be a little difficult to come in here with an RV and park. Um, but I would suggest if you're gonna do the Gorge Trail, um, a week day might be better than a weekend, especially a Saturday um, during the summer. It could be pretty, pretty busy here. I'm standing on the start line and the finish line for the 1948 Watkins Glen Grand Prix. This race was the first race in the United States after World War II. Watkins Glen is known for its racing heritage, but it's not just the racetrack up the top of the hill. Back in 1948, after the war ended, they brought racing back to the United States by bringing it here to the street, and the racetrack race I think it was something like five miles long. It went through downtown, up the hill, over through the hillside, and through the state park, and back down here and across this to the finish line. 
it really was something to see. Um, in those days, you know, racing was a lot different than it is today. The cars were probably slightly more towards a street car than a true race car, but at least compared to what a race car would be today. But this was one of the first Grand Prix. This was the first Grand Prix after the World War II in the United States, and a lot of history. And if you walk around through the town, you're going to see a lot of little plaques along the sidewalk that kind of represents some of that history. Rockins Glen is very proud of their racing heritage here. It's always a lot of fun to come here to Watkins Glen and check out the town and the history and get a little bite to eat. So Zephyr, did you like that video? Check that little walk around Watkins Glen? Hopefully you guys liked it too, and if you did, please give us a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. If you've been to Watkins Glen, what did you think of the village? Did you go to Gelardo's and have something to eat? Let us know. Until the next time, guys, you'll see you down the road. Thank you. Let's not waste time on